22-year-old Monta comes from the small city of Valmiera in the northern part of Latvia. This young mother's life has not been easy. This last year in particular was very difficult. After the birth of her child, she could no longer work. At the same time, her boyfriend left her, and soon after, when her savings were all used up, she was evicted. Her son Marcus is now over one year old. He should have a better childhood than she had. Monta has promised herself that. Her own parents abandoned her as a child and moved to a foreign country. Monta was then put in a government-run orphanage. It was a time of traumatizing experiences that she cannot speak about even today. Monta wants to look forward. She has closed the chapter on her past and is now going her own way. All her life, she had to fight to survive, at first for herself and now for Marcus too. But she's never given up. There is always a light at the end of the tunnel, she says. Sporšākais tajākais es māma ir tas, kad uh, kaut vai es audzinu vienu pati spēju bērnā ieguldīt to, ko es vēlos. Protams, ir dažas lietas, kas nav iespējams, bet lielākoties nevajag jau tikai materiālās lietas, bet ir arī finansijā, nu, ir no tām finansiālajām arī, protams, liela nozīme, bet tā, tā lielākā nozīme, kas viņam var sniegt to milstību un to mīļu un visu, ko es viņam dot, tas, man liekas, visparšākais. Riga, the capital of Latvia. The old harbor city on the Duna joined the medieval mercantile group Hansa even earlier than the city of Hamburg. The decorative facade of the old city is symbolic for the economic boom that Latvia has experienced since it joined the European Union in 2004. But behind this beautiful facade lurks another dim reality for the lives of many living in Latvia today. After a few years of the economic boom and uncontrolled growth followed a deep dive. By the end of 2008, the country was just short of bankrupt. The world financial crisis had a particularly devastating effect on Latvia. By the end of 2009, the unemployment rate had tripled to nearly 23%. Many people literally lost everything, and that in a country which barely offers any type of government welfare the suicide rate in the Baltic Republic, one that is already one of the highest in Europe, has drastically risen in the last few years. More and more Latvians are no longer able to deal with the societal realities in their country. That is why SOS Children's Villages are also trying to help outside the children's villages through their family strengthening programs. An example is the women's group in the social center in Valmiera that Monta has attended for the last six months. Unfortunately, in the Baltics, it is a widespread phenomenon that women are frequently left alone with their children. It feels good to be able to talk about things and to be taken seriously in the process, the women say. Nowhere else has Monta found the help and support she needs as she has here. Uh, ejot pie psihologu, neejot uz bērnu emocionālās saudzināšanas grupu, es esmu sapratusi daudz lietas, kas mani nomoka, kas man uh, izraisa nemieru. Un ejot uz, šī, uh, uz šo grupu un pie psihologa, uh, esmu sapratusi, ka uh, vēlos Markusam labāku bērnību un, protams, ar dzīvi turpmāk nekā kāda man tā bija iesākusies. Un sevišķi psihologs man šajā ziņā ir ļoti palīdz. Last winter, Monta and Marcus were literally on the street. With the help of SOS Children's Villages, they were able to receive contact with social services that then supplied them with a one-room apartment. The most important thing for Monta is that she has learned to believe in herself again. Through the many conversations I had with other women and the psychologist at SOS Children's Villages, she says, I now know that it wasn't all my fault, as many people used to like to tell me. Even financially, things are a bit better. Through the legal assistance from SOS Children's Villages, Marcus's father now provides child support. 
Next summer, when Marcus is two years old, he will be eligible for a spot in a childcare center. At that point, Monta most definitely wants to work again in order to become more independent. It is her greatest wish that both she and Marcus make it. Es vēl, mums ir kopējas sapņi, kuras es vēlos piepildīt, lai mēs ar Markusu būtu vienmēr uh, kopā, un lai mums viss kopīgi izdotos, nevis tā kā manā ģimenē tas īsti neizdevās. Un tā kā, lai mums tā dzīve būtu tā nokārtojusies abiem uz priekšu, vienmēr tās attiecības saglabātos mīļus un jaukas. The story of Monta and Marcus is a hopeful one, even though it is about poverty and injustice. Monta is a strong young woman who never gave up hope. There isn't a better place on earth for little Marcus than with her. Both of them deserve a chance to be helped, not abandoned. It is very good that SOS Children's Villages fights for young mothers and their needy families also outside the villages, and that they help them individually. Even though the need today far exceeds the ability to help, SOS Children's Villages helps everyone who comes their way. And through it, children like Marcus have a much better chance for a good childhood and a better life.